one of the things that is often lacking in a rendering is good looking tires. Out of Alias, often all we have is a simple revolve. Creating math data for tires is tedious work. And often if math data exists, it is very heavy and causes our wire, wire files to be very huge in size. So in VRED, we have a tire material that really solves this problem. So I'm going to select my tire and use the isolate button so that I can focus on just this part. Open up my material editor and right click anywhere and say create tire. So this is the tire material. I'm going to drag this onto my scene, onto the part, close the material editor. Now I have a folder full of textures and in there I have a sidewall and a tread. I'm going to grab the sidewall, drag and drop it onto my part, and I get a pop-up box. It's asking where do I want to put this texture? I want to add it to my markings since these are my sidewall markings and add a bump. And I added the bump to the profile and you can see that it's now putting it where the tread was so I want to make sure I turn that off and do bump on the markings. Hit OK. You'll see that it's not lined up. That's fine. Let's get the tread on there and then we can line everything up at once. So go back, grab my tread, drag it into my scene. So I want to add the tread onto my to the profile, so the tread profile. And again, let's do the bump profile. Now I want to edit the material so I don't end up making a duplicate every time I add more textures onto my part or my material. So you can see that the textures are applied, but they're not lined up properly. So if I turn on my texturing module, you'll see that at the origin, the texture projection has appeared. But I want I don't want it at the origin, I want it over here lined up to my part. So with my part selected, if I hold shift and click on this picture of a tire with arrows, it now moves my texture projection and makes it fit to the bounding box of my geometry. So it looks pretty good, but I need to adjust it a little bit. You can see that the my markings don't quite extend, expand out to where I want them, so I can hold shift, click on this middle cube, and just scale it. So maybe right about there. I can also adjust how far the tread rolls over the edge by holding shift on this green box and pull this over. I can hold the shift in the pink box to adjust how many times does this tread repeat. Now I can hold, turn off my texturing. And now I'm going to open up the material editor again to dial this in. One of the things that makes this texture, this tire material unique is the ability to control how far does the tread roll over onto the shoulder. So under the texture settings, there's a slider called blend position. And sliding that, I can now push the tread over the edge and determine how far over the tread goes and how far up the sidewall markings go. So I'm gonna make it blend right there, close that. At this point, I can turn the color down a nice black and increase my bump intensity to really exaggerate how much of a bump do we see of that. So let's let's do a, a three. So bump mapping is, is a, a very fast way to add this texture but if I want to go the next step and actually displace the geometry so that when I look over the edge I see the tread in profile, I can add a displacement map. The fastest way to do that again is to drag my texture onto my geometry. There's a little arrow here, open that up, add displacement. And I'm going to edit the material, hit OK. 
So you'll now see that I've added, it's displacing and in my tire material under the displacement tab there's a checkbox here. Use accurate silhouettes in OpenGL. Checking that box you can now see that it's starting to displace so now I need to increase this. I can either use this slider and drag it out or I can type in a number. Let's just type in 5. So now as I look over the top edge it is actually displaced the geometry. So now we have a very good looking tire without having to model it in alias. So I can un I can turn I can press the isolate button again to bring everything back. Let's close my material editor. Let's see the results. Now if I want to duplicate this to the front wheel I need to actually make a second material so that I can map the shape onto that geometry up front. So I'm going to make, I'm going to select this tire, say tire rear. I can duplicate it by right clicking, going edit duplicate, and I'll hit tire rear one so I can make that tire front. Now if I drag tire front onto my tire, you'll see that it's not lined up. But I can quickly just select it, hit my texturing, hold shift and click on the picture, zoom in, and you'll see that my tire now is lined up. Again, just adjust the sidewall a little bit. Turn off the texturing. Now I have my front and rear tires. Now you really need to only do this once if you like the tire textures that you're using because I can now create my own library of tires. I can drag these in. So now I have tires front and rear. Hit save. Now the next time I open up another File into VRED, I just use tire front, tire rear, adjust the texturing so it fits perfectly on the geometry, and I can reuse these over and over and over. So that is the very simple tire material inside of VRED.